night and good morning happy thrive and shine thursday i am coming to you this morning with our morning glory chronicles so first of all how is everyone doing out there i hope all is well on this breezy thursday so i wanted to come on um and share a word that was dropped in my spirit this morning as I was getting ready. So the word was, and it was actually a reminder to me, um, don't allow your comfort zone to become your danger zone. Let me say that again. Don't allow your comfort zone to become your danger zone. And so what, what do I mean by that? Um, many of us find ourselves in a place in life where we're comfortable. We're comfortable with um, our place of employment. We're comfortable with our relationships. We're comfortable with the lifestyle we live. Um, we're comfortable in who we are in that moment and in that time. Um, and many of us become too comfortable to the point where when life is moving, it's moving without us. Um, even though time goes by, there is, we don't evolve. And the spirit had to let me know that and remind me of the time where I was very stagnant. See, when we don't grow, when we don't evolve, we become stagnant. And a lot of times we become stagnant because we're comfortable. Um, there's not enough pain in where we're at to wanna make a change. Um, and so once again, we become comfortable. And when we become comfortable, that becomes our danger zone. Why does it become our danger zone? Because once again, we cannot grow. We are not evolving. We are not moving as God tells us to move or we're not moving in our purpose effectively or effectually. If we're not effective in our purpose. Um, and I, and once again, this was a reminder to me because I found myself one point in life um, just comfortable where I was. And so I wasn't evolving, I wasn't growing, I was stagnant um, to the point where it did become uncomfortable. Um, and so when it started to become uncomfortable, I knew that there was, it was a time to shift. It was a time to change. It was a time to do something different that will move me out of my comfort zone because my comfort zone was actually killing me spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. And so when I began to shift um, and establish the foundation, a, a, a different foundation, a solid foundation of growth, of um, empowerment, of purpose, um, things begin in my life to change. And I've just gotten to a point in my life, I've let God know, and I've told God, I said, God, don't allow me to ever get so comfortable again in my life that I delay my purpose that I delay uh, what you have for me I delay the promises of God and I say God I don't ever want to get to that point because I have been delayed for years and I was delayed once again because I was comfortable in a um, in a place of an employment because and to the point where when it even when it shifted because I was so comfortable I was unprepared um, I had gotten comfortable in a relationship that was detrimental to me spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. When that ended, I began to have joy and peace again. Um, but things had shifted. And even now, with different things going on in my life, I was like, God, I don't want to get comfortable. I don't ever want to get to that place of comfort because my comfort zone was my danger zone. Um, to the point the enemy had access to me to take me out by any means necessary. Um, 
And so once again, I've allowed, I've told God, don't ever allow me to become so comfortable in where I'm at that one, I stop hearing from God Two, that I stopped moving and once again, growing and evolving. I was, and I was, once again, I was like, Lord, I don't ever want to get to the point or the place where I'm not effectual. I'm not effective in purpose i'm not infected effective in your word i'm not effective in your will and in your promises um so i just want to remind somebody out there because i don't want to take up too much of your time this morning that um it's time for you to shift it's time for you to shift out of your comfort zone and into the place and point where god wants you we are in a day and time where time is moving quickly um, things are changing and shifting quickly and unusually and God doesn't want you stuck God has made some promises to, to, to people he has um, guaranteed some things but he can't get those promises to us unless you move unless you get out of your own way you hear that get out of your own way stop denying yourself access to your blessings. Stop denying yourself the blessings and the success you deserve. Y'all, that's one of my chapters in my book. So if you have not gotten that book, you need to go ahead and go order it on www.shiftinthenumber2power.com, shiftintopower.com. Yes, shameless plug. Um, but these are some things that uh, now going back that the spirit had spoken to me while writing this book um, and so there are some really good tips some really good uh, words of encouragement in there so once again go get your book do you do you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth seven steps to shift you from hearing to earning success and it's not just success uh, in the economical world, but it's success in your everyday life. And once again, one thing going back, circling back, um, is not getting too comfortable um, where you're at. Don't allow your comfort zone to become your danger zone. Um, and many of us allow our comfort zone to be to uh, many of us allow ourselves to become comfortable um, because we're afraid to shine. We're afraid to be the true authentic us that we were created to be. And I'm telling you that now is the time to break out of your comfort zone, break out of your shyness, break out of that insecurity um, and step into your greatness. So um, we're already at eight minutes. Once again, I don't want to prolong the time, but I want to encourage somebody out there and let them know that don't allow your danger zone to become your, com don't allow your comfort zone, excuse me, to become your danger zone. But now is the time to break out of that, n the norm and grow and evolve and, and, and just live the life that you desire and that God says you deserve. Peace and blessings. Take care and take charge.